So Hong Kong and all the world, in fact, has had a big trauma with the COVID. And what's your strategy now coming back uh, under the light? Mm -hmm. Firstly, we are bringing the we're, we're bringing the uh, we're bringing the guests back to Hong Kong. That is my number one focus of, of this year. And um, so far, I have seen so many familiar faces and the key figures um, in town, uh, which I think we have reached our first steps already. And obviously, uh, let's see this week. Everybody is so excited to welcome back. And Hong Kong has been, you know, uh, traditionally we love to be a host and. You know, with the border opens again and no travel restrictions again, we can finally play host again. And um, the strategy this year is really brings art back to people's life. That is the reason why, you know, we it's the very first time we're bringing artworks outside of the convention center. We're bringing our sectors out of the convention center. So we're collaborating more with the institu lo local institutions as well as the regional institutions. And the next step is to even bring arts beyond um, the border of Hong Kong and um, really expand our influence in the region. And so, but this year you have less participants to the fair than uh, in the normal years. So. So why? Why is that? Well, the reason why, um, you know, we are not back to like, let's say 240 um, um, shows, uh, 200, 240 gallery shows, is also because when we closed the applications, um, it was back in June, and there was um, still seven days quarantines back then. And even with a seven days quarantine back in June, we received like this number of galleries. Um, so I, I myself is really proud of the results. Obviously, in the past few months, when um, the travel restric restrictions lifted again, um, people have been knocking on the doors and asking like, Angel, can we, can we participate again? Can we apply? Obviously, the show at this scale, we need um, you know, a sufficient production time. That is the reason why we don't want to expand immediately back to like 240 and we want to make sure that the existing um, uh, uh, galleries have enough time to really bring their presentations and produce their shows on site. Um, but next year I'm looking forward um, to get back to an even fuller uh, program. Okay, and uh, what about Hong Kong? Uh, the geography of Hong Kong itself in terms of art has completely changed. So you completely believe in the future of Hong Kong as the city hub for art, right? Absolutely. Like even during the pandemic, Hong Kong has not stopped because inside Hong Kong we never really had a lockdown. That's why the city is basically carried on. And I've been telling a lot of uh, the new, um, the new first timers or the returning guests like yourself that the ha the landscape, the cultural landscape in Hong Kong has actually expanded. You know, like if you standing like in central look across the harbors um, to Kowloon side, Kowloon is no longer the dark side as what we used to call it. Um, from West Kowloon M plus um, dark Palace. side. We, you, we used to call Kowloon the dark side. That was Why? the slang. That was the slang back in the 90s. Uh -huh. And then, um, but now, um, you know, if you look across the harbour, from West Kowloon, there is like um, M plus, there's the Palace Museum, there's um, Hong Kong Museum of Art, there's like K11 Art Museum with K11 Art Foundations. Basically, across um, Kowloon, the harbour front is a complete comprehensive uh, cultural landscape and in the Hong Kong, on the Hong Kong side um, like in central we don't only have Pedal Building and H Queens anymore like the um, tycoon is more comprehensive than um, ever in terms of their contemporary art offerings and that now there's the south side stretching from which is very becoming very important exactly right? the, uh, the south side along uh, alone has more than 20 galleries and stretches from um, Wong Chuk Han, Team One, and Repulse Bay. Um, so it's, um, now we even have our own um, artist-run space in Hong Kong. So with the institutions coming up, building. Wait, what's the name? Of um, current plans. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, current plans, and there are a few more. Um, and also, you know, international galleries have not left Hong Kong in the, even during the, you know, even since the pandemic. Um, and auction houses have been expanding, since, uh, as Noah has uh, mentioned. Um, we just believe that, you know, it's like for the most obvious reason, Hong Kong geographically is it, is at the heart of, um, you know, um, Asia, and um, with its status as the financial centers plus the uh, tax-free benefit. 
um, with like the, uh, one of the biggest uh, our logistics um, systems inside here and a very strong domestic market uh, with a domestic collector base. We, as our Basel, really believe that Hong Kong is the best city to do art business. And just give us uh, some advice at the fair. What what could we not miss? Definitely do not miss the discovery sector that has always been one of the most popular sectors and encounters as our returning special sectors with 14 um, you know, installations on site and off site. Um, do not miss that. You will not miss that. Walking What about the, the galleries? Floor. The galleries, I would um, recommend you in terms of encounters, definitely see our two Hong Kong artists. Um, Uh, Trevor Young and um, Jeff Land, and in terms of galleries, check out our um, you know very own, very owned um, modern gallery, Kwai Fong Hint, on the on level three, bringing like uh, this statement piece of uh, George Matthew, um, and as well as the return. Yeah, as well as the George uh, Mathieu, yes. French one, and we have a and we have a very statement piece as well. Um, and then obviously check out our Hong Kong galleries. Um, very proudly presented by Kiang Malang, who also opened a new space in Wan Chai, beautiful space. Um, as well as Gallery Exit, um, representing uh, most of our rising stars uh, of Hong Kong artists in the city, and many more. Just wander around. Merci beaucoup. Merci. Thank you.